if we have this tank. In the tank, we have a diameter of the tank which is equal to 2 meter and height of the tank 3 meter, d small, 0.1 meter. We have to find velocity when the tank is full and we have to find time first to empty the tank. All water in the tank discharged and the second one half of water to be discharged. Find the time and how and or how much it la uh, take to uh, empty half of water in the tank. Let's solve. That's the given. Just apply velocity equal to 2g square root 2gh and put the values for g and h. Which g is acceleration which equals 9.81 and capital H is the height. So the velocity when the tanks fall is equal 7.67 meter per second and finding the time when the tank fully discharged. Operation is this as we derived it before. Just put the value for capital D and small d and uh, uh, for capital H. The time will be 300 12.82 seconds, which equal 5.21 minutes. For half of water discharge or height of water in the tank will be 1.5. That is the time. This much of water is drained. So how much it take to this, this volume be drained? Be careful where, where is the tank some volume of tank remain it we have to put the here is the head of water which is remain it so just put uh, the values for capital H and uh, small h you can easily find how much time is it takes it takes 90.1 91.62 seconds if we make a note, we see that for the first half of water drainage just in 91.6 seconds, while uh, for discharging the full of water it takes 312.82, which is much higher than 91.62. What is the reason behind this? At here, the head of water is too much, so the velocity is high. But when water comes to this elevation 1.5, the velocity decreases too much that is why it takes too much time let's find the relation between velocity and head and we look at the relation how it change with the change of head how change velocity with change of head that's the given uh, capital d two meter d small 1.1 and h three meter delta h 0.1 so here's three and here we have to write the formula which is called two, uh, three, not three, sorry. Here, minus delta H. We have to fix this one. Okay. And uh, head, velocity equal to square root, square root two multiply 9.81, multiply H. Okay. Okay. Okay, drag. Did it just zero? Zero. Okay. That's it, that's velocity. Let this plot insert plot this one y oh sorry insert ok select it data hit vs velocity I use velocity as x-axis and head as y-axis
if we look at the relation, it's not linear. And we see that from 3 to 1.5, it's almost, it's almost linear. And from 1.5, it's 5.42. It's almost mm, 2.5 changing. But from 1.5 to 0, the change, how much? It's too much. From 5.42 to 0. That's why we see change in head at 1.5. It causes too much change in velocity. That is all. If you have any question or misunderstanding, you just leave a comment. I will answer. Have a nice time.